Now you hear sometimes people say they had a mini stroke or a TIA, which stands for transient ischemic attack. Now, are those the same thing? What does that mean, a, a mini stroke? So, so a, a mini stroke, um, a mini stroke is when there's an area of damage, but it's very, very small. Okay. Uh, and you might or might not see it on on brain imaging. So that's a mini stroke. A TIA, by definition, there's no injury. So there was a lack of uh, blood flow to an area of the brain. The brain didn't function very well during that time period, so the person has symptoms. But then their blood flow is able to be restored. Your own body has mechanisms to destroy clots. So there's two different. There are two different things. There are, there are two different things. Okay. Many times people will uh, mention them interchangeably, and sometimes a physician might do that as well, just to simplify things. Mm -hmm. But a stroke is an area of damage, and the TIA there wasn't brain damage, so the person returns fully to what he or she was before the symptoms started. Usually lasts minutes, maybe a couple of hours, but not longer than that. Now, you and I were talking a little bit off camera that's, that many times people associate strokes with being older, but it actually can happen to anyone at any age. Is this true? Yes, it can happen to anyone at any age. And why it happens usually as you age is because this, is, this is, starts from damaged arteries. So throughout mm -hmm. your life, one is the years that you live, but also is the risk factors that you may have that would damage the arteries as time goes by. But there are some strokes that happen from things that might be independent from those uh, risk factors, like damage to the arteries, tears, and things like that. Um, but then there's also what we're seeing is people are having the same risk factors that usually would start on your uh, 40s, 50s, right. and their 20s, 30s. So you have more leading years with risk factors that damage the arteries sooner.